Hey, welcome to Beyond Design. And in this series of tutorials, we'll be learning how to do compositing. And this compositing, no matter I'm showing in new, but you can try this thing in any choice of software that you have. You can use After Effects, Fusion, or any application that you like. This series is specifically made for students and for artists who are looking to start their career into compositing from other departments. Maybe you're from Roto, maybe you're from Paint, or maybe you are a 3D artist and want, to, and want to learn compositing. But understand one thing, when you start compositing, the first thing that you need to do or the first rule of business for any compositor is to create a proper matte extraction that is doing chroma keying. So we'll begin the series by understanding what is a chroma and how do you do a chroma keying in step-by-step -step manner. First understand a chroma. Now what you can see on the screen is a chroma footage. So if you want to make a matte extraction and or put something in its background, understand this, there are two things. A footage is divided into two parts, the RGB or the color or alpha, that's the opacity information. Your RGB is divided into two parts, that is the spill area in the core the spill area in the edges. Same way, for creating the alpha extraction, you need to know how to do a core alpha, that's the main matte alpha, and then you have the next, that's the edge alpha. This is what we'll be exploring in the series step by step, and then we'll learn how to get this thing together and create a fi final matte extraction or a chroma key. So, let's begin and head on to Nuke. So now that we're in Nuke, let's understand how to despill this footage. Now, as I explained earlier, there are two things whenever you need to create, there are two steps whenever you need to create an alpha extraction or commonly known as chroma key. One is creating the RGB, that is a footage which does not have any spill on it. Second is the alpha, that's basically the main chroma keying process that we get stuck up with. So let's start with the first thing that is how to create a despill and in that we'll understand how much despill we have because this is commonly a problem which people don't understand or don't try to correct is they do despilling but they do not understand how much despill is available in the footage now one more thing is this footage is still not denoised so if you go to the r channel r channel g channel or the blue channel Still, there is noise available over here on the screen and all the chroma. So let's do the first step. That is, let's denoise the footage. So let me just go back to the color channels and add a node over here for denoise. I'll press close and let me press F so that we can see that denoise option coming over here. Now I'll add the source to the footage. You can also add the noise to the footage and you can now just check double click on this open the node now you'll see this is coming over here and nuke is asking you to analyze the region to uh, remove the noise just take this and drag it someplace maybe i'll put it on the skin i'll say close now the analysis has happened let's check this you can just come over here press d on the denoise and check now if you see this press r and press D on the keyboard. Can you see that? There was noise. Now there is no noise. Same if you go to G channel. Now there is no noise. There was noise previously. Same will happen with the blue channel. There is noise. There is no noise right now after the D noise. So what we have done is we have done the D noise. Now remember one thing. When you're creating an alpha extraction, that is what we'll see in the coming classes. You don't need to have the D noise getting applied over there. But people have the habit of adding D noise. So you can just go ahead. But then when you have to do a despill, this would be the first step. That is, you need to first denoise the footage. So I'll just keep this thing over here. And uh, let's start by despilling. And the most common technique of despilling is using a key light. So I can just go to key light over here and I can apply this key light source on my denoise. So this is what we get. Let me just put a node over here. So making it more neat. And Simple and sweet, what we do is you have the screen color, you have the R, the G and the B. Now as we are dealing with the green chroma screen over here, we simply come over here and press click over here and say one so that all the green and the footage will get removed. 
and we'll say okay now we can't see it because we are not on the key light we just come to the key light option and you'll see all the green is suddenly gone so this is how we do despill and this is generally where we stop but as we are creating a very different kind of keyer this time with more control and we are creating more of a keyer which is going to affect the core of our mat that is the inner portion we are not concentrated on the outer edges of this because for despilling the edges there is a different process altogether what we are concentrating now is on the core region of your footage so once this thing is done let's close this now as i said how do you exactly know how much spill is there in the footage now there is a technique for this we'll be searching for something called as minus but because minus does not come by default i'll just take min and i'll change the mode to minus now in the B, connect the key light and inside the A, connect the footage, the denoise footage. And let me just correct this thing also. Now if you click on the minus, what you're going to see is the chroma screen or the chroma spill. And this is how you can find out how much actual green, scale, uh, green color spill is on the footage. So this is a very neat way of finding the house because once you know this is how much spill is there in the footage, you can easily remove it. Now for removing this, I'm going to take one more step. I'll say saturation. I'll attach this thing to the minus. Click on this and press 1. And I'll just desaturate the entire footage. Basically, I'm making my information, the spill information into a black and white color. And now what I'll do is, I'll take a plus node. And same way, your key light always has to be connected, like even if it's minus or plus, the key light always needs to be connected to the B output of your merge. So I'll just connect this thing over here. And A, I'll connect it to the saturation. And now if I check this output, you have got a proper D spill now. Now you'll say, if we had key light and we were getting this, then why we are doing this? But if you just do key light and make a comparison, you'll know the difference the difference in the core area okay so let's see that now now what i would do is let me just click on this and press one let me click on the denoise footage and press two on the keyboard and i can simply press w for getting the wipe and i can check this thing now and you can clearly see the difference see the hair and see the skin there was quite a lot of green color look at the cheeks they're all gone and the fun and the command when you're using this technique is this. Now, if I go to key light again, you have this option something over here called as alpha bias because this is a tendency whenever we are doing a despill, okay, some or the other color of your skin gets discarded. So we have to retain it back. And for retaining it back, it's very simple. There is an option over here called as alpha bias. This is the red channel, just make it 0.6. And you'll see the red color has come back. Make it 0 0.5 and check. See this? There's still some plotchiness. There is some uh, loss of color which you can see over here. But now once you make it 0 0.6, you can make it even more. So you can just increase this. If you want the skin tone to be more reddish. But I think 0 0.6 was good for this particular footage. And I can say close. So what we have seen right now over here is we have taken a footage from a condition, let me press W and get this thing back, from a stage of despill to finding out how much despill we have to correcting the despill and also correcting the skin tone using the alpha bias. So this over here is called as the core keyer. So I'll do one thing. Let me just take this thing down and I'll also arrange this thing better. Let me take this for a backdrop. And we'll name this thing core D spill. So we have this over here. If you want to change the color, you can change the color, but I'm good with this. And I'll make it bold. So this is the core D spill. So now in today's class, what we have seen is the first thing that a compositor needs to know whenever they have to handle a task of chroma key, that is doing the right D spill. And remember the D spill that we have done right now over here is the code e spill next time we'll be working on extracting the alpha the core alpha 
in this particular footage. Till that time, thanks a lot. Do keep in touch. See ya.